it's your boy lagging 24 coming at you with some world at war almost called it black ops world at war zombies what's up every a body what's going on you guys welcome to shinonuma zombies here on my channel and today we're going to be doing a challenge you can tell by the title and the thumbnail it's going to be a random perca cola challenge so if you're not familiar with shinonuma uh there are four huts we'll call them and those four huts are home to each of the four perca cola machines and uh, it's really cool when you open the door, the Perca Cola machine appears out of thin air, but then starts uh, randomizing itself until it finally stops on just a mystery Perca Cola machine. So you don't really know which door is going to have what. So for this challenge, I'm only going to allow myself to open two of those huts, whatever two Perca Colas that are in there. Those are the two I will be using for the challenge. And that's how we're doing it today. Now, I can't remember. I really can't remember. But there's like a really bad feeling and say, hello, look at him. It's like, man, see, I'm going to punch you in the face, see? <laughs> man, the boy's going to just knock your teeth out, see? Man. Want a fist fight, bro? I brought a knife. All right, so something in my bones is telling me, though, that I just want to say that Quick Revive on World at War, is it? it's not solo player Quick Revive, is it? I want to say that it's not. So basically, if we get that, that's just like, holy crap. That was just a waste of a door open. So let's hope that we don't get that. I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. Now, uh, if this was the Black Ops 1 version of Shinonuma, we wouldn't have that problem. But I wanted to go old school. wanted to hop on the actual World at War disc. A lot of you guys asked me to do that. After the Darice uh, challenge that me and Mr. Dollar JD did with two box challenge, you can check that video out below down in the description. <laughs> Uh, we, uh, we decided to do it on the Black Ops 1 DLC, and a lot of people were like, Oh, you should have done it on World at War! What's the matter with you guys? And I'm like, nothing's wrong with us. What's wrong with you? And then that was the end of the conversation, really. But here I am on actual World at War. Okay. So basically, I guess I hope I get Juggernaut and Speed Cola. I think that would be the best combo, personally, for me, for how I like to play. Uh, probably end up getting a useless quick revive and double tap. It's the luck I've been having lately, so let's hope that doesn't happen. I need to get some slugs. Memory serves me good. It's been so long since I've played this map. I feel like it's been so long. Uh, but if memory serves me, hey, hey, don't you put me down already. We're not ready for that. Uh, memory serves me correctly. There's cool Easter eggs on this map. Like, I want to say there's a radio right here. Right Okay, maybe that's not the radio. Maybe there's one right... There's a radio somewhere, you guys. Here she is. Hello. And there you go. And then it'll say stuff, but the volume's down really low, so you can't hear it. Um, and then there's, like, uh, something else with a telephone that's all creepy as F. And then there was a... Uh... There's some off-the-map stuff I can show you by going into no clip, which would be kind of cool for you to see. Like some writing that you can't see unless you're... Oh, my God, don't you dare hug me again. Unless you're off the unless you're off the map, um, and then there's the what the hell? Go 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 go! Yeah, let me down! Oh my goodness! My goodness, you guys, come on! We got the Thompson really quick. Um, and then there's of course the giant meteor in which they use to uh, harvest Element One One Five to create super soldiers that went horribly wrong and turned them into zombies. Speaking of soldiers, we got Japanese Imperial Army guys on this map. I believe this map was also the first time we ever saw Hellhounds. The first time we ever saw Monkey Bombs? Possibly. Don't quote me on that. They might not even be on this map. And then definitely the first time we ever saw the light to the mystery box that points us in the direction of where the mystery box is. It was first time it was on this map, for sure. So, a lot of firsts on this map, but I know Darice was the first for Teleporters and Pack-A-Bunch Machine. So I think I might have been right just then. In fact, I'm right. Don't even bother correcting me. Let's do this. Give me something good. What is it? That's not good. That's not good. Okay, well, we're not using that. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Maybe just do a spin again. Quick little spin again. No one's going to mind. It's just me and you guys on the map. Okay, that's a little better. 357 Magnum. The zombies are taking a little while to get here. I'm pretty sure the round started a little while ago. Oh, that's right. They got to break in and stuff. They spawn from weird spots. Like, 
just kind of everywhere. I think they're above me, too. Let me go. There should be some stairs. Yeah, they're coming up from up here for sure. What are you guys doing? Come on, now. Double points? No, of course not. What? Oh, I didn't want it yet. I was trying to sneak by. Yeah. See that sneaky zombie behind me? I didn't even hear him. He's silent. Yeah, there wasn't as many up here as I thought there was going to be. So box location is up here. This is also a big refresher course for me. I haven't played this in ages, so I don't remember everything. It's okay, though. I remember what we're supposed to do. That's kill the zombies with our gun. So that's what we're going to do. Right, right. Okay, so let's go back down stir. Oh, hey. Let's go back downstairs here. And what I think we'll do is possibly... No, we got to play one more round. Let's play one more round. I'm not spinning the box again quite yet play one more round and then we're gonna go open our first hut and see what perca cola we are stuck with hopefully it's gonna be a good one god they're just all up here there we go off with your head yeah one more round ought to do it how much is ammo for this guy a mere 600 points not bad i like this area calm room oh so let me be clear that i can open these areas right so this is an area i can only open two of the huts there's four areas, four huts. Okay, I can open up all four areas. Can only open two huts. And it doesn't matter if I look through the window or not. You cannot see the perca -Cola. It does not appear until you open the door. Oh my god, please don't kill me. No. Come on, Red. Go away. Jeez, that was kind of close. Almost died. Challenge almost over. But not this time, stupid dogs. Beautiful hellhounds here on Shinonuma. Oh yeah, so one more round. We got our max ammo. Cool. I don't want to mess with the Magnum quite yet because it's just gonna one hit kill him. I'm not gonna get any points, and it's all about the points right now. So Christmas is upon us, guys. I think it's like 20 more days or so at the time of me making this recording, which is insane because I haven't started any of my shopping except for myself. I bought myself a complete set of Perk Cola bottles. For Christmas, they will be here in, uh, I think it said like 10 business days. The guy who makes them, I guess he uh, kind of makes them from his home. They look really good. He had a full set and it was very affordable. Um, so I bought them from him. So I guess it takes a little time for him to make. And then it's Christmas, so I'm sure he's got more orders. So it'll be here in like 10 days. I'm excited. It's got like the cool stuff in it that you wouldn't think. Oh my God, it's got like, uh, oh, it's got like the Wonder Fizz bottle in it. The... You know the bottle you get with the teddy bear on the label when you spin the Wonder Fizz? And it goes to Teddy Bear. It's even got that. It's got, you know, Dead Shot, Mule Kick, all the goodies, man, all the goodies. So it's a full set. I think the only thing it's missing is like Ammo Region, which was a Perca Cola that was uh, located in the game files of World at War. It's supposed to be on Shinonuma and Doris. Uh, it was called Ammo Matic. And it never got put into the game. I think it's in the game, but it's not on the game, if that makes sense. Like, it's like it's in the files. I think. And then, of course, Tiki decides to bring his bone in here. Just start gnawing on it. So if you hear that in the background, I can't help it. This dog he eats bones. That's what he does. Bones of my victims. <laughs> what? Okay, no one called the cops. That was weird. Sorry. Okay, we have enough points now. I'm going to open up the comm room first, because this is actually where I like to... Uh, train at, and I'm actually going to open up the calm room hut over there as well. Let's not kill him, as he may be the last. He's not the last. Water does slow you down. As it would in real life. Probably didn't need to say that. Okay, that's definitely my last one coming now. Alright, so here's what I mean. Like, there's nothing there. You open the door, and poof, there it is. What's it going to be? Come on. Oh, it's Speed Cola. Okay, okay. That's half of what I wanted. Speed Cola jugs. Good combo. It's half of what I wanted. Can't be too mad about that. Uh, I'm going to try to get to round 25. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm going to try. Shouldn't be a fun challenge nonetheless. Shouldn't be called a challenge unless it's a little bit challenging. So maybe we won't get jug and we'll just have to go with the one life YOLO challenge. Can't even mess with me when I have this. So, back to the Christmas topic. It is coming up. It is coming up, and uh, one of my favorite things to do during Christmas is to 
Uh, not necessarily Christmas Day, but the days leading up to Christmas is just to turn on the television and watch the Christmas movies, man. And I'm going to tell you what my favorite Christmas movie is. It's called A Christmas Story, and it's about this little boy named Ralph. All he wants is a Red Rider BB gun. Okay? The compass in the stock. His parents won't let him have it. Because he'll shoot his eye out. That's what everyone keeps telling him. Shoot his eye out. Does he get it? I don't know. Find out. On the next installment of A Christmas Story. <laughs> TBS, uh, uh, television station, um, plays it starting on the day before Christmas. They play it for 24 straight hours. So it's like impossible to miss if you have TBS. Just put on your TV on TBS anywhere between those 24 hours and you're guaranteed to see it. It's my favorite Christmas movie. There's a lot of classics too, like Rudolph and Frosty and The Grinch That Stole Christmas. I think Home Alone is epic Christmas movie. I'm um, just trying to think. Of course, there's some other ones I'm forgetting. So why don't you guys tell me what your favorite Christmas movie is of all of the times? And we can go from there. We can have a discussion about that. So, yeah, that's just one of the things about Christmas I like. It's all about the family and friends. And if you're religious, it's all about celebrating the birth of Christ. If you're not religious, it's maybe it's just about the presence and the family for you. Maybe you don't even celebrate Christmas. I don't know. I like it, though. It's a good time. Weather's cold and eggnog and food and family and presents and movies. There you go. And there's always some movie that gets released on Christmas Day. And believe it or not, I had a buddy that worked at a movie theater. And he told me it's one of the busiest days of the year is Christmas Day at the movie theater. Which I cannot believe. But he, I guess he explained it to me to where, like, you know, families come in town. They're looking for something to do after they've all um, had their Christmas dinner, which typically most families do early in the afternoon. And a lot of families go see uh, Christmas movies. And there's always, like, Christmas movie releases there'll be like two or three new movies on christmas that come out to the theater it's crazy it's just crazy it doesn't make sense i've never been to the movies on christmas i got better things to do with my time i don't i don't i made that up zombies suck come on bros i'm gonna regret saying that at some point all right can't have many left all right let's just uh Right, let's think about this. Let's think about it. Like I said, I can open up all four areas, just only one more hut left. Now, this is the fishing hut. It's going to be way back there. Now, we're definitely opening up this area so we can play with the flogger a little bit. I'm sure some of you guys have not seen this baby in action. It's pretty sweet. I don't actually like fishing, so I'm going to consider that a bad sign. We're not going to that one. All right, let's see what the other one's called. Doctor's Quarters. Yeah, I certainly don't like the Doctor's. I like playing doctors, though. <laughs> Watch out, ladies. We're not going there either. Okay, and then now we'll go. Uh, we'll go to storage. Yeah, storage. What could that symbolize? Ah, yeah, storage for my computer. Can't ever have enough storage. That's a good sign. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. There's some feisty zombies. Yeah. Chill out, dudes. Alright, cool. Uh, while we're here, we might as well check out the Easter egg, right? There's a big giant meteor off the map for element 115. Let's, uh, I think it's over this way. Let's see, where is it? Yeah, it's right there. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. You want a closer look? I'll give you a closer look. Hang on. Uh, how do I do stuff again? Let's go, uh, no, clip, enter. There we go. Oops. Take that off. Okay, cool. There we go. I don't have my mouse plugged in, sorry, so. Using the trackpad, it's a little hard to navigate. But yeah, that's pretty sweet. Maybe if we could just go straight up and then look down on it. Yeah. Nice, there we go, that's a good view. So yeah, that's the meteor that they uh, harness Element 115 from and try to make the super soldiers. We all know the story from there. Okay, get back on the map. And there's a couple other off the map uh, things too that we could fly in at and take a look as we play. I don't mind doing that. All right, we're going up in here. This was the storage hut. Give me Jug. Don't be a dick. Hey! Hey! So it's still one life only, but I feel a lot better about my life. Okay. Now, basically, we'll spend the rest of... Okay, really? All right. What? Okay, he's dead. 
Jeez, man, it's tough. Is there a Bowie knife on here? I don't think that there is a knife, is there? I can't remember. We'll have to do some exploring. There's also some cool zip lines we're going to play with, the flogger we're going to play with. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. I feel a lot better about possibly getting to round 25 now than I did before. Um, yeah, let's start. Tiki, seriously, you might have to leave the room, buddy. You might have to leave the room. That's a bit much. Uh, yeah, I'm talking to you. He stopped. Oh, he started again. Okay. <laughs> that was short-lived. My handsome prince, Tiki. Man, so I've, I've got this neighbor, and she's got, like, the world's most annoying dog ever. His name is Lincoln, and Lincoln doesn't bark. He just makes the... He's a huge dog. He's got... I don't know what kind of dog he is. He looks sort of like a mutt, but he has got to be, like, well over the 100-pound mark. Like, well over it. And he's just enormous, so you'd expect this, like, magnificent roar out of him when he barks. But he doesn't bark. He just makes these whining, yelping freaking noises that are just unbearable. And every time he sees another dog, it's like maybe like an orangutan in the, in the jungle or something. Kind of just these noises that are just so... Ugh! I hate that dog. And I love animals, but... So then I found out that her dog has cancer because the other day I was walking Tiki and he wasn't making his typical stupid noises. And I'm like, what's wrong with Lincoln? He usually goes crazy when he sees Tiki. She goes, he's dying of lung cancer. I'm like, God damn, that sucks. So I felt really bad. But um, I don't know why I'm bringing that up exactly. But uh, she's she's the kind of girl that like, she goes out to, uh, she's a really good person. She goes out to... Uh, pet shelters and adopts like old dogs that are probably only have like a year or two left like since she's been my neighbor for the last four years she's probably had about five dogs they keep dying but that's i mean she gives them a home before they die which is really nice but it's also kind of a bummer because it makes me think about death a little bit when it comes to tiki over there and he's about 10 years old now so getting a little nervous about that he's still got all the energy in the freaking world so i'm sure i still have a good few years left with him but it's still a scary thought process He's my best friend in the whole world, so the day he goes, the day I go crazy. Yeah, let's not talk about morbid thoughts with my dog. Why'd you guys make me do that? Now I'm all bummed out. I'm super bummed out now, you guys. Anybody know when Dying Light is coming out? The open world survival zombie game? That's going to be pretty awesome. Can't wait for that one. That looks really cool. A little mix of parkour action and stuff. Yeah, I can't wait to play it. Should be good. Kaboom! Kaboom! Now, I'm not sure that what I said at the beginning of the video is true with Quick Revive not being a co it's only co-op Quick Revive. I may be wrong about that, but please, do let me know if you do know. In fact, I may, after this match, test it out myself just to see. But I swear they didn't have, like, a solo Quick Revive until Kino on World of War. I, I, or Kino on um, Black Ops. But I could just be lying again. I don't know. I don't know. You guys got dealt with. No, you didn't. There you are. Okay. That's a pretty sweet shotgun. Let's get rid of the Thompson. Let's see what we can do here. I don't want the Wonder Wolf because I'm pretty sure it Fs you up in this game. Okay, we'll take it. <laughs> what are the odds? I can't remember. Does it turn my jug into a one-hit jug? I can't remember. I can't remember. I want to see that it does. We'll play with it for one round. I'm not playing with it anymore, just in case. Where are we at? Bring it on, bros. Speaking of bros, speaking of bros, you guys watch South Park at all? South Park did an episode on YouTubers the other day. Uh, their newest episode. It's going to be a two-parter at least because it said, you know, to be continued at the end of uh, Wednesday night's episode. But the funny part was is that they used PewDiePie in their, in their, uh, in their episode. So, oh, crap. Kyle got the new... Uh, he got the new um, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and he went into his brother's room, said, hey, do you want to play Advanced Warfare? And, and his little brother's sitting there on the computer saying, no, I'm watching it. He was watching PewDiePie play it. And they, you know, so they made reference to PewDiePie a lot, and, and they cut to him um, playing his video games quite a few times as well. And then Cartman started his own YouTube channel called Cartman, bruh. And uh, it's funny, man. So I guess they're going to do a part two to it because it's not over yet. So if YouTube, being a YouTuber wasn't popular before and it's becoming extremely popular with people like PewDiePie and 
Nanners and all, you know, all the big people, Syndicate, Allier, those guys are massive and they gain a lot of attention for YouTube as a job. So people are starting to understand what it is. People are starting to take it a little more seriously. And so if it wasn't super popular before, people that watch South Park are certainly going to look at it and go, okay, that's a real thing. Wow, I didn't know. Now you know. Speaking of getting more and more popular, um, not me personally. I'm just saying the word popular, like popularity in YouTube in general. I got a, I got a weird feature offered to me on YouTube. I want to run it past you guys, see what you guys think about it. I'm going to try it out see how it goes. Uh, but, you know, Twitch has donation button. I have a donation button on my YouTube page now. So if you uh, go down to the description below the video, you can actually click the link that takes you to my channel. And on that front channel page, there's a support the channel button. You click that and it'll give you an option to donate, you know, whatever you want to donate. $1, $5, $10 or other. Um, all of the donation goes to me. None of it goes to my network. None of it goes to YouTube. Uh, I don't know what you guys think of that. But I feel like no one's forcing you to donate, so it's not worth, like, complaining about. But I wanted to make you guys aware that it is there. A lot of you guys are like, where can I send you a present at or whatever. Uh, I don't have a P.O. box, so you can just uh, donate something and then leave a note and say, hey, go buy this with that, and I'll go buy it. <laughs> and I'll, I'll do I'll a little picture and put it on Twitter for you or something. You know, something silly like that. But just the fact of having a donation button is kind of weird. But then I think about Twitch streamers. And for me, the way I do YouTube is a lot like a, uh, a, a Twitch um, streamer. Like, they're on there for three, four hours at a time. It takes me an hour or so, <clears throat> sometimes two hours to get the footage from my zombie gameplays I do. And then, you know, another, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes or so to edit it, put it together. So, Jesus, stop. I don't want to get red screen. That was actually really close to getting red screen there. So that was almost not good. Jeez. Um, so I feel like it's pretty similar to what you would see on Twitch anyway. So anyways, it's there if you guys want to go check it out. Feel free to. No obligation whatsoever. It's just a trial run I'm trying out to see how it's kind of perceived. I think I'll leave it on there uh, for a little while. Just see what it's all about. There you go. That's that. Okay, STG. freak bags are going to eat lead and die. Now what? And the M1 Carbine. Great! We're set up, boys! Right, we'll go through here. Oh, man. STG. Dunk, 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 dunk. I like this gun a lot, actually. But it does kind of remind me of the bar. And I... Oh, God! What the fuck? Oh, I forgot. I think it's three-hit juggle in this game. Oh, I just got wrecked on round 15 because I'm pretty sure it's three-hit jug. In the original World at War. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn it, man. <laughs> that did not go as planned. This challenge got a big old fail stamp on it. Sorry about that, you guys. But don't worry, zombie content throughout the entire weekend and early through next week. I'm doing a lot of recording, so I'll be back with something really soon. And as always, it's been your boy Lagan24, and I will see you uh, next time.